All right guys, so I got that all done over there. That just needs a little bit of attention as far as like some metal tangs and stuff like that need to be straightened. But that cab is ready for pour 15. Now I gotta get the bed ready. So I'm only worried about what's underneath and any work that I might need to do under here to get it ready for paint. The outside out here, I'll worry about another day, but uh, I've got some pretty bad rust spots, like right here is a hole, and there's going to be another hole here really, really soon. So I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and you see how bad that is. Kind of rust it in there. So I'm going to address this stuff now. It's going to look a little haphazard because I'm just going to take a piece of uh, steel I got and I'm just going to lay it across here and then weld, just tack it here if I can, and then weld it in on the other side, fill it in, grind it down, and it should be good. And I'm gonna do the same thing for right here. I don't know if there's any other places, but this all down here don't look like it's incredibly great shape. Um, we've hit all this stuff with a grinder, tried to clean it up. Like here's dirt in here, and man, we've pressure washed the snot out of this thing. I'm gonna blow that stuff out, but like, this isn't gonna be perfect. So, uh, there's some work here, a big dent right here. Kind of get a little bit of the light in it. You can kind of see it there. I gotta work that out. That's gonna be super easy. I got some rust up in here, which is extremely typical. Not much I can do about it, except uh, cancel it out with some poor 15 and uh, kind of get it out but like where the the light actually mounts in up here is solid on my bed it is definitely not um but the rest of this bedside has got uh is in decent shape you can see where the uh the rust havers were and you, there's bubbles there i don't know if you can see it let's go this way with the light there's some here yeah there you go you can kind of see some of it so uh, sand that down but like I said I'm not worried about the outside of it I'm just really worried about the inside I gotta take this stupid thing out right here so I put a thing there put holes in here but I ain't worried about that because that's where my toolbox is gonna go so if anything to kind of maybe did me a favor but here uh, I'm gonna have to dress up a little bit the metal down there where it looked on the other side looked a little bit worse looks pretty good but all these dents down through here i'm going to try and knock out the best that i can get just clean it up a little bit the uh bed liner is going to hide some of this stuff so i'm not super worried about it i just want there to be metal and then if i can hammer it out might as well give it a shot it's going to be somewhat easy so things like this here you know, I don't know about, I don't, a little bit of grinder action, it might reveal something worse. So now's the time to address it uh, if I've got to take care of it on the other side. So I'm gonna work away on these dents. I am gonna set up a time lapse on this cause there's just gonna take a lot of time, effort. And I actually might not even finish this today cause I actually gotta get back to the house, which is an hour ride. So. I'm going to work away at this as I can and uh, fill you in whenever the progress may come.
All right, guys, so I'm trying to push this big dent out, and this right here is really good, except for like here, but I can fix that. This is good right here. This was shoved in. I got this pulled out, and this is all flowing well here, it feels like at least. But I can't get this section here out. And this is, I put here, here, heat here, because I thought that's where the most of the stress would be pinned up. But there's no way for me to get to that. So, there's a small chance that I can get Mr. Green in here and uh, this block of wood and, or another probably metal or something i'm not sure but i can get that in there and pull up against it but uh, it is turning out a little bit better so i'm gonna move on to something else all right so i'm out of frame but i got this section here worked in pretty decent i got like a little bump here right on my finger i gotta push in but this is what i gotta work with now i gotta work this then i can fix this i got all the access to this right here but back here and inside there, there's a uh, support that goes up through here, and it's pushed in against that support, and I can't get to it. So I've got a, I've got the piece of wood I was using earlier. It's going straight up and down, and I've got the lever uh, pry bar here working as a lever to push it up and try to do this. Maybe I'm gonna run out of prying room probably by the time I get down here because this is so. There's just no good way to go about this. Uh, just gotta try something, maybe, maybe it works. So, bear with me and uh, see what we can make, make of this. All right, guys, so uh, it's another day in the same video here, but uh, I'm still working on getting that dent out, and I'm kind of going to show you kind of where I'm at right now. So, again, not a professional. This will get Bondo. I'm just trying to make it a little bit better. Um, flip the camera around. All right, so you kind of see here, like this was a lot worse caved in. And then it's kind of now following the body line just a tiny bit. I really can't bring the, I'm gonna bring the camera back here. You can kind of tell. Let me uh, get the zoom set right or the focus set right. So yeah, it's kind of pulling itself back out. All I'm doing is got a piece of wood back there, got a pry bar in there, and I'm just prying the piece of wood out and then coming out here, circling in some heat hammering in on the end of mr green just kind of shove in and out shove in and out so it's coming it's just taking a lot longer than i'd like but it's going to be less bondo so that's uh that's what i'm going to keep doing so i hate to throw you guys in another time lapse so i'm just going to knock this out show you guys when i get this one this part of this bed done all right guys so back for that update i promised you about moments ago uh, now, I don't think I can get it really much better than this here. It's just uh, my body tactics and uh, my impatience is only going to get it to this far. The rest of it's going to have to be Bondo. So there's going to be less Bondo than what there was going to be. And there's going to be um, a nice smooth area here now. But this was caved in, I guarantee you, that far. So there's gonna be that much less Bondo in the fix. So now the next thing to work on, um, there's a little bit of a push out down here that I need to do that 
I ain't worried about at all. That can come out pretty simple. And uh, this side here is all good to go. Um, a little bubbling here, so I'm gonna sand this stuff down, take care of that. But when we picked it up, you've seen this before, but this spot down here, I'm gonna have to maneuver the bed around so that I can tend to that area right there. And it kind of stretches back across the fuel door on that scratch, so. I'm gonna move along. I'll update you on the, uh, the progress of that one down there, see how well that gets along. All right, guys, so uh, you kind of seen there a uh, little crazy tactic um, it paid off, I think, so far. Um, I'll show you the reason and explanation. So as hard as that was caved into the point there, it was pushed in so hard. I was going to have to apply the multiplication of force that was applied in to apply it out. I really don't have a way to do that. And I think most professional shops would probably have just cut that out, maybe put in a new piece. Hell, they probably would have went with a whole new bed and or new bed sides. But I went ahead and just burnt that that metal out that was on the extreme point, and while it was hot, shoved this whole thing out. So this whole thing's now back to where it was. There's a little bit of a crease here. I'm not worried about this here. I can fix that later. But a little bit of Bondo and um, a little weld, we'll get that uh, excess metal out of here, grind that out of there, and then uh, fill that in, weld it, then Bondo it, sand it down, and I think I might have myself something to work with. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to actually head to that part now. I've got a couple other things I need to weld up couple holes in the bed no big deal and uh, maybe maybe we'll shoot this thing today with port 15 I'm not sure so uh, if you guys haven't already please uh, leave a comment or something down below um, I'll take any form of criticism I'm learning everything that I can learn um, body is body work is not my forte I don't have many fortes but that is definitely low on the totem pole so um help for next time or uh if there's something in this video that gets uh done you comment on more than likely i might actually see it before i start doing the next uh next phase here so uh, i want to thank you guys for watching though um i make these videos they're not extremely entertaining but i do make them for myself um and uh we'll get to the more entertaining stuff all that stuff's coming right up it really is so uh want to get back to this now so uh get this stuff uh hopefully prepared to get it sprayed today All right, guys, so uh, yeah, I'm in here. Um... All right, guys, so I went ahead and got those holes filled up. Minus one, it's giving me a little bit of fits, but you can uh, kind of see that the welds look like crap. That's because they're just filling. Once you grind them down, you'll never know. So I got one little spot up here um, that's uh, pretty bad. It's pretty big, uh, but there's a solid piece of metal behind it. 
So I've got to grind it down, see what I got to work with, and then kind of go from there on that. With a, a spray and bed liner, a lot of the stuff's gonna be covered up. I don't use my truck uh, a lot uh, for stuff uh, other than like just, you know, like hauling um, low weight, heavy dent, like, no, uh, big, low dense loads. Uh, could be like, you know, clothes and vacation or, I do throw, I could throw a motor in the back of it, but once this thing's as high as it is in the air, I've got a 5x11 trailer or 5x10 trailer. I'm, it's, it would be hard to get an engine out of the back of this. So anyway, um, but yeah, so I got these little pieces of metal in here. Uh, they look like crap, but you also are never going to see them because there's underneath of a uh, heat shield. So all this stuff's coming together. It's just, you know, getting this stuff done. So I'm going to get the grinder out and then I think I'm going to have to uh, I got some dirt in locations here from once where we cleaned it off, but there's still some dirt in there. So get this all cleaned up and ready for some pour 15. All right, guys. So went ahead and got this completely cleaned off. Got this here cleaned up. Uh, I didn't show you earlier. That hole up down there needs to be ground down. But uh, we are ready to spray this thing in pour 15 and then I'm gonna do this put a couple coats on this and then go and move over to the cab so and get that sprayed as well underneath so I've got to lay out the plastic up here I got to lay it a wall down so I don't spray everything on that half of the uh, shop and get it all covered in paint so uh, I'm going to get this uh, kind of going here, and you'll see a time lapse in the paint with the phone in the box. So, hopefully it focuses. Alright guys, so I am all set up. Plastics dropped. Heat is on. It's uh, like 52 on this side. On that side over there, it's just going to be a little bit warmer, but this stuff is going to stick just fine. I just a little bit of help on the temperature while it's like right here it's no big deal so uh paint mixed and into the can uh when it comes time to actually spray the truck this place will be dust free it's just i'm in a little bit of a rush so letting this drain out to see if i actually have any solids in it and there must have been something because there's a little bit of liquid paint in here and it's uh, not just like from the sidewall so drain your paint I learned that drain it drain it screen it I should say these are just the Harbor Freight screens but they're, they're good enough for what we're doing here so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get spraying get you guys set up on time lapse it's not gonna really take that long to shoot this flat surface but hey we'll get her done Alright guys, so the air compressor is the back air running, charging back up, and there's something about this mask that's getting paint right there, but I got the stuff to get this off properly. I'm going to go do that right after this video is made. So, I uh, got it all done up. I'm going to flip it around the other way. First coat, don't look half bad. You can still see, I mean, it's paint over rust is what it's called, so like, it's just what it is. Um, I even got that piece over there. I go to shoot that just like in the video. I'll set it here, shoot both sides, and then put it back over there. But yeah, this is turning out pretty decent. Fender well's looking pretty good. And this stuff's going to also be undercoated, so like no big deal uh, on seeing rough spots or shines. When I put the rubberized undercoating under this, you'll never half of this stuff will disappear and it'll all look really really good so uh, I'm pretty 
happy with the way it's turning out right now. So I'm going to first get this stuff off my face, be prepared for more, if I'm honest. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and just spray the second coat and uh, don't need a time lapse of second coat, much like the first one. So uh, I'm going to get that done and I'll uh, show you guys the end result. All right, guys, so I went ahead and uh, set up the cab uh, to get sprayed as well. I got it all together, got the paint mixed up. Might as well just shoot it while I'm here. Plastics laid out haphazardly. I'm gonna do a little bit better once I get underneath there, but yep, gonna go ahead and shoot that now. Uh, I'm gonna be spraying virtually everything underneath of it, and then what I need to weld on the inner and outer rockers with, I'm just gonna leave that there. And then grind on it when it goes time to weld the rockers in. So I'm gonna shoot everything to make sure I got everything and then grind away later what I need to grind away and then I can come by and hit it with some of this stuff in a rattle can. Same stuff, just in a rattle can and then I'll be sitting pretty. Maybe, we'll see. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna sit you guys down in the box and uh, wall around on the floor a little bit by spraying some paint. All right, guys, so I went ahead and knocked that out. Whoa, the sun's bright. Whew. All right, went ahead and knocked that out. And uh, it looks pretty good underneath there, perhaps, but uh, just because once you start painting things black, it kind of disappears. But <clears throat> lay down here. Did a pretty heavy coat on the first rip, mainly because I only have what's in the gun left and when you're spraying like straight up and down you really need to get with all your vertical facing stuff while you got the paint in the can that you can tip it so and then kind of was hitting around but yeah it looks pretty good try to uh, drop a second coat on there and we'll see what it looks like all right, guys, so I got the second coat on, and it looks pretty decent. Uh, down to one light, so... Don't... Yep, went on fairly well, and I'm pretty pleased with the way that it actually looks. Uh, it's going to stick just fine. Got the gun all cleaned up, ready to go for actual i think body paint so the next thing we're going to be doing is welding the rockers back in that's going to be bondo and welding and all this stuff back in so like there'll be plenty of uh video on that so i want to thank you guys for uh watching subscribe please and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one